Joey, tell us um, why you think this is a good career move. I don't think you need me to tell you. You know, you know everything about this football club. Um, I came up here, you know, a week ago and, and had a look around and was just blown away by, you know, the tradition and the history in the building. So that is really seductive for someone like myself, who's you know a football man, someone who's been steeped in football, played football for a long period of time, um, and has been brought up. In a, in a family background where football is vitally important, and obviously in a city where, you know, the football clubs are the heartbeat of, of the city. So, you know, when I came here and I seen, as I say, what what had gone before, and you know, spoke to you know the gaffer here and, and the team here, and seen what an exciting future this could be for this football club at this junction for for myself in the career in my career. I thought this is just an opportunity I can't um, turn down. This is this is kind of you know, the right place, the right time, the right project. I'm in the right frame of uh, professional space and just really looking forward to the challenge. You know, everything that comes with, you know, being a player of Rangers, you know, the, the expectation, the pressure. The, I mean, it's a different challenge for you, but you had the chance, I suppose, to play for Burnley in the Premier League. So, testament to what lies ahead in the coming season here that you've chosen to come here. Yeah, I had great options on the table. You know, I had a phenomenal year at Burnley with a... Uh, a group of people who are will and, and are you know close to me and will remain that way you know made some great friends you know obviously had success which is always helps in football but but what Burnley are about to do next year is something I've done before um, you know I've, I've played in the Premier League for a number of years um, last few three, few times I've been there I've been in there battling against you know relegation and you know in the cold light today you know, the competitive animal in me wants to win trophies. I've had a taste of that last year, you know, coming to the building as part of a, a team that had, had a 23 match unbeaten run, winning the championship. You know, obviously, the collective and, and personal accolades that come with that. And it would have been easy for me to stay there. That would have been the easy thing to do. Stay there, you're in a comfort zone. You know, I had a great rapport with the fans, phenomenal working relationship with, with the staff and the players there. Obviously, everybody in the world it seems apart from me, wants to play in the Premier League if they get that opportunity. But I'm, I'm, I'm very keen in my life to, to keep challenging my own uh, my own perception of, of what the game is and experience as much you know, of this great game of football that I possibly can. Um, and to go into the Premier League and, and, and try and do what I've, I've done before, you know, whilst I was aware of it would be a very you know, tough challenge, you know, once I spoke to the people at this football club, once I walked into the Ibrox and had a phenomenal tour guide in, in Davy Weir, you know, walked in and you, you're going in and being shown around the trophy room and port, portrait of Bill Struth at the end and, you know, the 54 pennants on the wall and everything that comes with the history and tradition of this football club. And then you're being shown around by somebody who's a, you know, who's on the Hall of Fame board and you think, and then you look at the names that have gone before and everything that, that comes with being a, a player for Rangers and I was just bitten and I went away that week obviously my mind was pretty much made up after coming up um, I, I went and spoke to my family and was ov obviously mindful that you know Rangers had a massive game in, in terms of the Scottish Cup final so I didn't want anything to do with me to, to distract from you know what was a very important occasion for this football club but you know as I say I knew within an hour of stepping foot in the building that this was, you know, the right place at the right time for me, and hopefully, you know, this is the start of a very successful period in, 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 you know, the club's history, and hopefully, I can contribute to that. I mean, that's what I'm here for. Did what you watch? Sorry. Has, what vision has Mark Walker given you for, for next season? I mean, you know, I know the style of play. I'd, uh, I'd seen the way the gaffer played. At, I have to call him the gaffer now. Yeah, so we would have said Mark Walker, but Davy, I don't want to call Davy actually. I don't know what I'm going to call you, Dave. I'm not sure. Yeah, Dave is fine. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd seen the way they played at Brentford, obviously, when they went from League One to the Championship. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, Frankie McPartland, he was pivotal in getting me to Burnley last season. Obviously, he's on, on the staff here now. And, you know, we spoke at length and he, he kept telling me how excited he was, you know, in terms of his transition from Burnley to Rangers. And, you know, without knowing Davey and, and, and the gaffer, I, I felt like I knew them because we had so many mutual friends or players I'd played with who'd played under them and you know they came with such a glowing 
rapport about the way they go about the business and then you know everybody's aware of Rangers and, and, and what's gone on in the last few years and to see you know you know the bad times but, but then see the, the kind of Phoenix you know rise again and seeing them you know getting to cup finals and, and obviously getting promotion back to their to the Premier League in Scotland where, where, where a club this size belongs you know everything that comes with that you know the old firm and you know Scottish football re-emerging from what hasn't been a fantastic period for it um, I just I just kept going over and over and look I, I know for a fact they had better financial offers but sometimes things just far outweigh uh, money and I swore to myself um, a long time ago that I'd never make a career decision based on finance and um, sometimes in, in this world you've got to be true to what you're about as a human being you know you've got to be comfortable looking the man in the mirror um, in square in the eye of a morning and you know coming to Rangers for me is you know uh, gives me the ability to to look myself square in the face and know I'm taking on um, the correct challenge for me at this junction in my career. How much are you looking forward to an old firm game? Well uh, everybody looks forward to that you know I think it's a massive game but you know Titles are, are, are going to be won and lost, um, you know, on the Tuesday nights, the Wednesday nights. You know, championships aren't won in, in uh, one and two, three, four games over the course of a season. Obviously, you know, I'm aware of the significance of, you know, what that game, this that game means to the people of this city and, and beyond. You know, I haven't watched the semi final uh, only a few weeks ago. Um, I mean, the main thing for me is focusing on making sure, you know, first and foremost that you, you earn the right to pull on. Uh, the Jersey Rangers, and then, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. It's a young squad. Mark's here. He's been looking for an experienced campaigner to sort of guide those young players through. Do you think that's what you can bring to this team? I don't know. I mean, I have a wealth of football experience based on the fact I'm 33. You know, 34. Four, you know, fairly early into the season. I was just talking to Davy before. You know, you can be a certain age but not feel that, you know, I don't feel, I don't feel I have the body, I don't feel I have the mentality of somebody um, at the latter stages of his career, you know, I think performances on the pitch in the last 12 months alone have proved that, and I believe it's a state of mind, obviously there's there's a wealth of experience that comes with having been in the game as long as I've, I've been in the game, and if you can impart that wisdom on young players, then great, I mean, it won't be me getting self-righteous and telling anybody how to behave or how to play football, far from it, you know, I'll be turning up um, every day with the right mindset, the right mentality, doing what I do. You know, I've, I've had the career I've had because, you know, I've got fantastic daily habits. You know, there's no shortcut to to success. You know, I think everybody at this football club's aware of that. I know I'm walking into a great culture, a team that knows how to, you know, win a championship, a team that knows how to get to the latter stages of cup finals and has now got experience of the positive winning one. And the negative of losing one, so you know I'm walking into a great environment, a team that's a successful team, and I just hope you know I'm able to contribute what what everybody expects from me because you know if, if I reach half of my own expectation, you know my career at Rangers will be a very successful one. Would you make it a challenge up here, Joey? We know that the standard perhaps isn't thought too highly of south of the border. How do you view it coming up here? I mean, don't forget. The English we look down our nose at everyone. You know the Premier League is the best league in the world. You know there's no doubt about it. Uh, just because of the financial strength of it. You know you look beyond that. You know you look at Germany, you look at Spain, you look at Belgium, you look at Italy, you look at France, where I've played. You know there's nowhere has the same level of competitiveness and financial clout as the Premier League. So it, it's difficult to compare the Premier League to any any other league. It's an outlier in that respect. Um, but there's an incredible challenge here, you know, the, the, the Rangers expect to win titles, you know, second in Scotland is nowhere and that brings with it an enormous responsibility and enormous pressure and I'm somebody who thrives under that, I, I can't wait to, to dig in, you know, that's, that's what I'm here for, you know, walking into Burnley at the start of the season, I said I'm here to win the league, um, you know, hopefully start of this season, you know, that, that'll be the aim, you know, I intend to do everything in my powers and contribute in every phase I can to, to every facet of this organisation to help us get back to where we belong, and that is at the top of, of, of Scottish football. Have you been given assurances about what other sort of signings will be made over the course of the No, I mean, you know, I trust the, the manager here and, and, and the people here, you know, Davy and Frank, implicitly. You know, if you look at their careers as in the job, they've, they've always 
got the right players in to get the job done. Nothing I've seen thinks any other. All I can go off is the way they've conducted themselves in getting me in the building, which has been absolutely first class. You know, the, the fact that they've been able to take me from a Premier League club says an enormous amount about you know the way Rangers today are conducting themselves, and um, I couldn't speak any any more highly of it. And you know, any player who who comes here and experiences what this football club's about, if they're the right kind of people, you know, you, you won't need to convince them. It'll just be a case of where they were signed, and that was the case with me. And um, you know, I, I expect that to be the case with anybody else that the club sets the sights on. Do you think that your arrival and the arrival of Brendan Rodgers at Celtic shows that the appeal that Scottish football still has? I don't know. You'd have to ask other people. Um, you know, I would have been here whether Brendan came or not. You know, Celtic is not what. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in, you know, all I'm interested in Rangers and for me it was a phenomenal uh, challenge but but obviously the fact that, you know, people are coming, you know, from south of the border again, you know, I think that, that showed a period of Scottish football, you know, the Halcon days where you where you had your loud drops and, and all your big stars coming in and, you know, the, the, the Scottish teams, you, you know, were, were competing with big English clubs for, you know, marquee players whilst I think Everybody's aware that that's probably some way off in the future. It's obviously in a lot better position than what it was, you know, f when Rangers aren't in the top flight. Because you know, I think Scottish footballs realise that, you know, you, you you need your big clubs in there, and I think that's um, any need any league in the world needs, you know, the the best support and 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 their best football clubs in the top flight. It's just great for the game. Personally, do you think? Your, how your career has developed over the past few years? Have you, you mellowed a bit compared to your younger days? I don't know. People keep telling me I have, but I still kind of wake up and still think I'm the same person. You forget that I still remember being a kid, a scruff off a council estate in Liverpool who was just kicking holes in his, in his trainers, playing football. You know, For me, I don't see what goes with me. I'm, I'm just a football man and someone who's a football fan first and foremost who was fortunate enough to be good and work hard enough and get the opportunity to to turn it into a profession. I mean, you know, I, I don't kind of, when you get to the kind of space I'm in, you have to t kind of tune out of what everyone says about you. If you were worrying about everyone's opinion of you, you know, my head would be spinning round from time to time. So I kind of know who I am and know the man I am and know what I bring to um, a team and, and, a, and an organisation when I'm in there. You know, there's been obviously times in the past when, when that hasn't always been the case and I haven't always been on best behaviour, but, 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 that's in the past. All I can do is be the man I am today and, and, and affect things in that respect. And as I say, you know, I think the last, you know, people look at the last year as being successful and it's difficult to, 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 to equate success to a side, you know, the year before the QPR that got relegated. But, I mean, success isn't necessarily about trophies. Success is about getting up every day, trying to improve. Sometimes when, when the organisation around you doesn't seem to have its... You know, it's it, it's it's self in order, um, and it's about keep pushing forward and continually doing that. You know, if you look at that, the year before that QPR, we get promoted out the championship. The year before that, I finished second with Marseille in France, which, in terms of competing with PSG, has to be a successful year. So, um, you know, I look at the last five years, a very successful period. Even though people will only jump on the last year because that's when you get the accolades and Burnley win the title and all the kind of, you know, media plaudits that go with that. I mean, I'm fortunate that. I'm not someone who kind of needs that because I also don't get too down when, when the media give me stick, which will inevitably come because that's what comes with the territory of being Joey Barton in this day and age. And also I don't get too full of myself when, when they give you praise. You know, I'm aware of the contribution I can have within an organisation. And, and the main thing for me is coming to work every day and looking at your teammates and the people that you work for in the eye and, the, and them know that you're doing everything you can to, to make it a better place. When, when you watched the game on Saturday, did that make you... Want to come here even more, just the occasion, everything around it? I'd already made my me, me mind up on the Monday or Tuesday after coming up here. As I say, I, I came up here, I was instantly bitten by it. And, um, you know, I've seen a few people tweet me saying now that Rangers aren't going to be in Europe next year. That I mean, you're not coming. I was like, no, nah, I was sitting there thinking I've already made my mind up. But obviously, you've got to be respectful of the situation and, and, and everything that's going on in and around, you know, this football club and also other football clubs. and. As I say, you know, it's it, you know, the, they're the occasions that myself as a player, I hope to be 
part of with this you know great football club and hopefully um, you know I'll get the opportunity to do that in, in, in the coming years. I know you've supported you'll put your support out for Celtic in the past on Twitter, Are you expecting a bit of, bit of a banter, a bit of reaction from that? Yeah, well, obviously, I'm aware that that's out there. I mean, the, the, the reality of the situation is, you know, you only support one club. You know, I'm an Evertonian. Let's, let's have it right. And anyone who says they support multiple teams and I don't really understand the dynamics of, of being a football supporter or um, will chop and change, you know, like they wear a pair of underpants. And I'm, I'm first and foremost an Evertonian. You know, that you only support one club. And obviously, being from Liverpool and being a football man and being in a football family and people who love football... You know, if, if the Milan derby's on, you have to pick a side. Into Milan, AC Milan, if Barcelona, Real Madrid's on, you have to pick a side. You know, we're, that's just what we do. And, and obviously, Joseph Anthony and being uh, sent to Catholic schools and my grandmother being a Roman Catholic, you know, I didn't really have a choice when it came to it. Um, and so you look out for, for one of the teams um, when the old firm's on. And obviously, I think I've said on Twitter, <laughs> amongst other things, that you know I'm a Celtic fan. I mean, you have to take that in jest. You know, my family kind of likes that. But I don't think anybody will have any doubt about my allegiances uh, when we play Celtic. Um, you know, it's a it's a great football institution, the same as this club is, and you know there there obviously is a great rivalry, a really healthy rivalry between the two clubs, which is great for Scottish football. And you know, if I can contribute to that in some way then then so be it but it, it, it's a great challenge and it, it it's I think what you know without being again self-righteous I think I think it's what Scottish football needs and um, it's great to see it back on the agenda.